Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mrs. Cronky again. And uh, as you can see, we are going to start on our superhero costume today. So I have this mask. It kind of, it doesn't fit on me as well because I have my glasses on, but it still fits. And then I have a little wristbands with my symbol on it. Okay, and that's what we're gonna work on today. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. This is what you need. You need at least one toilet paper roll, hopefully you can find them, per a person, okay, for your bands. And then you are going to need some kind of cardboard, um, something, let me show you, like this, for your mask, like wheat thins. Um, I just used a box, like a cracker box or a... Um, cereal box if you have it, anything that's a little bit heavier than regular paper. That's just it so that it'll stand up. All right, I might take my mask off so I can see you better. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. I'm going to, let's get started. I'm going to start with this, the toilet paper roll. It's super simple. Okay, you're going to take a pair of scissors and if you need an adult's help, just ask for help. And then you're gonna cut down the middle a straight line, just like that, okay? And then you're going to cut in half. Super easy. And now you have two bands for your arm. And for mine, I remember on my superhero, I had a heart and a K. So that was my symbol. Whatever your symbol is, you can decorate it. If you happen to have glitter and your parents don't care, you can do glitter or paint. But that's up to your parents, okay? So um, you're going to decorate it and make it look all fancy schmancy, okay? Those are the bands. Now I'm going to tilt my camera so I can show you how to make your mask. You're gonna need a glass. Now, Mrs. Cronky has a little bit bigger eyes than you, so I chose a glass or a circle or something about the size of, that would go around my eye that I could see. That's just to help me um, get the shape of my mask down. It's not really, you're not using it much, just, just to trace, okay? So I will show you. And you might need your parents' help on this if you're younger, so that's totally fine. Just ask for help or an older sibling. I'm gonna tilt my camera down here so you can see. So this is what I'm gonna do, okay? Um, my mask, as you can see, this is my mask, okay? And I made the mistake of not using a pencil, so if you want it to be covered, I'd probably use a pencil, but you can see where I, I traced the circle for my aunt, for my mask. So I'm just tracing it like this. And then I left maybe a finger's distance between this circle. Now I'm gonna do this circle, okay? Then when I do my marker, you can design however you want your mask to be. So I kind of like made it like this, and then I went up inside so I'd have a nose piece. And then I just made a little, on the end, I made a little piece where I, you need a little flap here so that you can put string. You can poke a hole and put string through, okay? And then I, you can color this however you want. You can put like stars on it. I don't know if you noticed, but I have my star earrings in today. You could put hearts. I colored the whole thing. You can use crowns. You can use whatever you want to use. Okay. Now. And then even though you're going to cut out. You're going to cut out little holes for the eyes. I colored the whole thing because I wanted that to all be covered. So I'm going to cover color all this blue. Now my original one, I did, I, I turned my marker on its side where it was the fat side. And then 
I did a line of one color and then another color so it would be a rainbow. But I'm just going to color this whole thing blue. And I know those of you who love blue are probably loving this. Okay, then I might take my purple and just put little stars maybe around. So this is your mask, so you can do whatever you want to do. And you can turn your mask too, if it's easier. Oh, and let me show you, if you don't know how to do a star, okay, I do a line that way, and then a line like I'm kind of making a triangle. But then I go back up, okay, and then I cross and I come back down and connect. Go over, kind of like you're making an A maybe. So make an A and then cross and cross back over. Okay. Now, we're going to call that good for now so you don't have to watch me decorate mine. But then you're going to cut all this out around. And then, like mine, my wheat thin box is a little bit thick. So you might need to get an adult to help you if it's too thick. Okay. Some of the cereal boxes and stuff are a little bit thinner. So once I've cut my whole thing out, just like this, okay, this might be something that you might need parents help with as well, okay, is I'm going to, right where my eyes would go, I'm just going to draw a little oval. Okay, for starters, can you see that? I just drew a little oval. And then I'm gonna fold this cardboard in half the best I can, and I'm gonna cut it with the back part of my scissor. That's the best part. If you try to do it up here, it doesn't cut as well. Okay, and again, if you need an adult or an older sibling to help you, ask for help, because I don't want anybody Happened to bleeding or happened to need a band-aid because of this. So I'm just going to cut out my eye. Well, not really my eye, but the hole for my eye. Okay, just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to do it on the other side. And like I said, my cardboard is a little bit stiffer. I didn't anticipate my cardboard to be so stiff. A lot of the boxes that you use that come like with cake mixes, those will work. And those are thinner, um, but still heavy enough. Um, cereal boxes, um, beef stroganoff, any of that. Those will work. Okay, now... This is the tab for, I'm going to pull up the camera a little bit so you can see. So this is the tab where your string goes in. So I'm going to fold it over just a little bit. And with the back part of my scissors again, I'm going to make just a small slit, just barely cutting it. Do you see that right there? Okay. Then I'm going to do that on the other side too. The part I forgot to tell you that you needed is you need yarn or string or something. You can even use a piece of material if your mom had an old towel or something. So I'm just gonna cut from a yarn ball that I have a piece and you could get a parent to help you with this as well or an older sibling. I just put it around, I need it about that long. I'm, I need a little bit extra so I can tie it. And then I'm going to thread, that's what this is called, when you thread it through the little hole, okay? 
And again, if you need an adult's help to get that through, sometimes it's kind of tricky. I use the scissors to kind of poke it through. Okay, now I will say this, it is easier once you have your string through. I had Mr. Kronky, my husband, Mr. Kronky, help me. He helped me, um, once I got it on, I put it on my head and then he tied, I tied one end. So let me show you here. Oh, it's being stubborn. Come on string. Stubborn, stubborn string. There we go. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to tie this end. And then I had, I put it on my head like this. Be careful not to pull it completely out. And then Mr. Cronky came in once I put it on my head and he tied this side for me. So if you have a sibling or someone, or if your eye hole, like this eye hole might need to be a little bit bigger so I can see out of it a little bit more. So I might need to make it bigger, but I cannot wait to see your superhero mask and your superhero armband. So tomorrow, our plan is to make some kind of cape and maybe a shield. So this is what you're going to need tomorrow. You need either some kind of newspaper um, or big piece of paper, or you can use, if, if an adult in your house says it's okay, you can use some kind of old pillowcase or old sheet or something if, they ha if you have that around. Even an old t-shirt might do. Um, so you need that for your mask or for your cape. And then you're also going to need another hard piece of cardboard. Okay, some kind of box or something. If you want a shield. If you don't want a shield, no big deal. Not every superhero has a shield. All right. Okay, I cannot wait to see your creations. I'm super excited about these. So take a picture and um, once you get your superhero outfits done and post it and let me see what they look like. I can't wait to see them. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.